for me Something you call love But confess You've been a messin' Where you should Okay, here we go then Brilliant little script I use it constantly Oh <laughs> I like that big wave. I wish I could get it without that bit on it. Uh, this was a false start. I realised eventually that I was running this on an installed system rather than a live system. But luckily I don't think I've done anything to hurt it. I normally boot from the SDA2 and I think I only mess around with the grub on SDB and I install it to the SDB but it would be handy when you move these that grub doctor window over to the left if it remembered your positioning and went back there next time but I don't know how difficult that is with bash I mean, normally you just, with Windows, you'd write out the coordinates into the who Windows registry. I don't know how it works on you. I would think you could write it out to any text file. But then it means bash reading in the coordinates. I always like Windows to return to where you've, you've used them. It always seems a cop out when it they just dumped into the center of the screen <laughs> and yeah i suppose when you're saving the coordinates when you're loading them again you've got to check to make sure they'll fit on the screen just in case they're running it on a smaller screen and apart from that this is supposed to be in uh, live mode what would be a good thing is if it could look to see if it's in a live mode or in stuck or if it's running off a hard drive and if it's running off a, off a hard drive come up and warn you i think that would be very very good bye all done again. I was talking absolute nonsense then. Grub Doctor is supposed to be run on a live CD, so it's impossible to store the coordinates. It's uh, five o'clock in the morning. I've had a long night and I'm getting a bit tired. But I've just had a, well, that new Dream Linux. I just booted that up and it looks quite interesting. My brain's getting tired, so I'm not going to say much more. It's only a demo bit.
and booting up from the B drive, but save into the MBR on the SDA drive. Oops, made a mistake there. Anyway, that's just about it, I think. Bye-bye. See you soon, I hope. Hope it was helpful.